Yeah, welcome back. We're back out here on Cold Lake for a mid-morning bite here. It's uh, it was just starting to pick up now. It was a nice smooth ride out, which is kind of nice, but sun's out and that usually means for a good lake trout bite and got a little bit of a new way of rigging a bait that I wanted to show you guys today. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. There we go. That one hit it on the drop. Feels like it's wrapping itself up a little bit. Probably not a bigger fish. All tangled up. Same thing, that fish hit on the 401, somebody on the back. It's a little guy, I'll get him right back. Suspended mark. Woo! Some drag pulling now. Looked like a decent fish. I just seen a quick flash. Of course, the net's still in the back. Not quite set up yet this morning. Well, I guess this afternoon. Oh, yeah. This is a nice fish. Maybe like that 28 inches maybe. Beautiful, beautiful colors on it. Got that 401 with that swim bait on the end, but beauty of Cold Lake Laker. I'll get it right back. It's playing with this little one along the bottom. There's looks like some more fish moving in halfway up. We'll just reel out. See if we can get any bites here. There you go. Just need a little bit of competition and doesn't feel big. It's probably why I was playing with this for so long. Yes. Little fish. Again on that. Four one. So little guy, I'll get him right back. Get back down there and see if we can find some more fish. Oh. Ah. That one wanted it. Let's see if it gives us another chance here. Super aggressive fish. There we go. There we go. Looked like a bigger mark when I was coming across earlier, but I'm not too sure. It's not... There we go. <laughs> it's a nice long run here. It's got some slower head shakes, so it might be a decent fish. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a good one. Oh yeah. Beauty fish. Get a 401 out. Some bait fell off there, but yeah. Like look at this fish, this is an absolute beauty. 
nice fat fish. Oh, we'll get it right back in the water here. There we go, that's what we're out here for, fish like that. And there's a few more down there, so we'll get a new swimbait thrower on and get back down, see if we can get hooked up again. Another different one coming from the side here. There we go. Only a matter of time. We had a few chasing us up and down there. Eventually one of them was gonna have to commit. It didn't feel big, but he's definitely put on the brakes here. Another nice average size lake trout here. Four, one. Yeah, so the guy will get him back. Let that one go. There's a few other ones down here. I'll see if anyone want to chase up. Oh. Someone's trying to. There we go. If they felt like a little fish. I was just let that one go and dropped right back down into the school. This one came up and got us. Just a little air fish. There you go. Easy release. Let's get back down there. Still fish around. All right, so yeah, the 401 is. Uh, tube that's been growing on me for quite a while. I fished it pretty hard in Manitoba and again in northern Saskatchewan those couple of videos will be out in the fall here. I had some really good success with it but it is a very balanced hook so when it sits on the water it sits pretty flat. This is what I'm using today. This is just the white version of it. I'm using the chartreuse but yeah I just got it rigged with a swim bait in the back just kind of tucked into the tube so it runs nice and flat. When this chase, when those lake trout chase up that swim bait tail gives it a little bit of vibration and it's a pretty awesome bite for chasing lake trout and definitely helps you pick off some of the bigger ones but yeah this is what i was using today it's pretty good bait um had it paired with a seven foot medium heavy rod uh, it's a fast action and a fluger 30 series president reel spooled up with 20 pound suffix high vis that high vis as you guys know i'm a pretty big fan of high vis so you can tell if you're getting a bite when your line's dropping and then just a 20 pound floral leader. But yeah, that's all the stuff I'm using today. Pretty simple, just something different. These new swim baits by TC Moto. I like to rig them on a few different things. I've been doing it since we started playing around with them. And yeah, let's get back to fishing. Hopefully get hooked up here again soon. There we go. Like a smaller fish, but once again suspended. Just reeled up past them. There's a little guy. Get him back in the water. 
Just dropping back down. There's a couple fish right underneath still. Let's see if one of these will chase up. I want the one right in the middle near the bottom there. It's starting to lift up a little bit. See if he'll chase. It's definitely a bigger fish, that one. Looks like he was going to chase it right to the bottom. This might, we might be able to pick him off the bottom here. You definitely seen where it went in. There we go. Yeah, they don't always chase, so sometimes you have to pick them off the bottom like that. Kind of let the fish tell you what it wants. There you go. Better a little bit of a run here. Did look like a little bit better of a fish. Sometimes it's not always right, but yeah, it's a nice, nice fat fish. Yeah, get on that hook, but yeah. It's a nice, fat, stocky fish. Get him right back. Woo. Got the whole face wash there, but yeah, there's still lots of fish down there. I'll get right back down. There we go. Again, just bouncing bottom, pretty much rivet bouncing style. And quite a few fish moving through. They're not all super aggressive, so just kind of picking off the odd one. If they don't chase up, let's drop into the bottom. Nice easy release. Got our some bait straightened out here and back pushed up. Get her back down there. There's a few more fish right under us. Chasing up. There you go. A couple marks coming in and out again. Another one chasing off the bottom. It's nice to see an aggressive one after the last couple we caught bouncing on the bottom, but feels super big. Another healthy lake trout. Go. Here we go, guys, a quick look, get them back in the water. I'm coming off the bottom here. Fucked up. There's a couple of chasers in a row here. It's kind of nice. Sun just poked out too from a cloud. Sometimes that's all it takes to help convince one to bite. Kind of dogging us right now. It's not too far down, but the leader. So he's just right beside the boat here. Another decent lake trout. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, another beauty. I'll get that hook out. Get him back in the water.
There you go. Just dropping down to another suspended mark there. About 40 feet down. Doesn't feel like a big fish by any means. Yeah, just a little guy. There we go. Easy release. Drop back down. Still a couple of fish right under us here. Oh, the head cam's dead. We got one chase in here. Of course, we look up at that one once the head cam dies. Not huge. Got himself all wrapped up here. Yes. Because I'll show you, you can catch a lot of different sized fish on that tube. That some bait on the back. I'm back in the water here. Go we'll change the head cam battery and hopefully get a few more. There we go. Toyed with that one for a little while. Littler one, we're kind of in a school of littler ones now. We did catch a few nicer ones earlier in the day, but most of these ones seem like they're all the same size. Yeah. Got that tube right through the top of his mouth. Right back in the water here. Nice big mark right off the bottom. This one feels like a smaller fish. I was really hoping for that other mark, but. Finally a decent fish. Yeah, finally a decent fish. I'm really back in the water. There we go, it's a better fish. Oh yeah, another beauty. Oh, yeah, another nice. That cool lake, lake trout. Give you guys a quick look. Right back in the water. One chasing up here. It's just gonna reel up just to see kind of these other higher up marks. I'll drop back down because there is a decent mark here suspended again. See if we can hone this one in. Oh, he's starting to come in. We'll reel up, see if we can get this one to bite. There we go.
<laughs> That's a decent fish. <laughs> decent fish, probably end off the day here. The two ball in his mouth, but give you guys a quick look. It's another beauty of lake trout here on Cold Lake. Get them back in the water. But yeah, all in all, pretty good day. But I'll probably call that a wrap with that fish. The wind's picking up here. We got a little bit of a boat ride in, probably been over three or four hours. We did catch some really nice fish to start. And then we kind of got in a school of smaller fish here later on in the day and then ended it off with that beauty. So yeah, just goes to show you there's another way to rig your tubes. That was just the TC Moto 401 rigged with the swim bait. Something I, some people kind of commented on during the pre-fish that I had seen something different with my tubes. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Just something a little bit different. That paddle tail gives a nice vibration when you're reeling up like that. So yeah, just kind of gives the fish something a little bit different and something to chase, especially when you're reeling up a tube. That's, I like to have a little bit of vibration, whether it's a pole dancer or now I'm just trying that swim bait. It's been working really good for me so far this season. So yeah, if you guys like this content, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the water next time.